Welcome, friends. It is 1.30 in the afternoon Toronto time uh, on October 3rd, 2019. And just a few short moments ago, I got a notification that Chef Steps had uploaded a new video. I like Chef Steps videos. I thought, let's go watch it and see what are they going to cook sous vide with an impossible technique today. And I, I say that with a lot of love. Um, because I know that what they do tastes absolutely amazing, has incredible texture, um, and is wonderful, but it is, for most home cooks, impossible. You're not going to make that happen. Um, but guess what? They did a boiled omelet. And my first thought was, boiled omelet, get out! But in the end, it's, it's not that strange, because if you poach eggs um, the way that eggs are supposed to be poached, you poach them in barely simmering water. Uh, so this shouldn't be any different. You're just scrambling the egg before you put it in the boiled water. So I watched the video a couple of times. I went to the website. You can't actually get the recipe because it's behind a paywall. It's like 70 bucks and I wasn't interested in paying 70 bucks. So I rewatched the video a couple more times. I think I've got it. So I've got three eggs in here. I've whisked them together. I've put in a little bit of salt. I've got a pot of water here that is just about to come to the boil. And over here, I've got a jug with a fine mesh sieve. They use uh, paper towel. I don't have paper towel in my kitchen, so I have a little piece of a really fine cheesecloth. General idea is pour the eggs in, the boiling water, put the lid on, cook them through, drain them, add some cheese in the middle, fold it, put it on a plate and eat it. So let's see what happens. Okay, it didn't say how much of a boil. I've got a pretty good boil going here. And so, in go the eggs. And you get that really nice stracciatelli. Lid goes on, and they cook. And I'm sorry, I don't have the really cool see-through glass pan that they have, so I'm gonna take the lid off so you can see what's going on. Doesn't say how long to cook them. I guess that's behind the paywall but let's give this a try. Okay, I'm gonna say that's done. Now they pour out most of the water before they put it into the sieve. I'm gonna take this back to the sink and pour off most of the water. Just use the lid to hold it in. Great. And now we'll flop this into the sieve. So I imagine this drains for a couple of minutes. They put cheese in the center and it looked like they put in a rolled up piece of American processed cheese. I don't, um, I don't have American processed cheese. So I've got some shredded Wisconsin brick. It's a, it's a really nice melty cheese. And so I'm gonna put some of that in the middle. And then they sort of pull on the paper and they roll it up. Now, let's see if we can get this off the plate without making a huge mess. They showed their omelet finished a couple different ways, but one of the ways was just simply salt and pepper in a strip along the top. So let's try that one. Okay, let's, uh, let's cut in and see what happens. Okay, so I probably should have used yellow cheese because it would give a better contrast than white cheese inside the white egg. Um, but it looks really fluffy. Let's, uh, let's see what it tastes like. Interesting. It's not quite an omelet. It's not quite an omelet. It's not quite a scrambled egg. It's not quite a poached egg. Um, it's something completely different. And yet, I think it's pretty tasty. Um, the texture is really kind of nice. And there's no, there's no water in the middle. The water drains out completely. Um, Yeah, 
I could eat that. I could definitely eat that. And that's the kind of thing that in a bigger pot of water, if you had to do omelets for, I don't know, five, six people all at once, and you had a big enough sieve and you had a big enough thing to dump it in, you could crank that out um, very easily, very quickly with not a lot of mess for a large group of people on a Saturday or Sunday morning if you were cooking for a crowd. I think that's a great, uh, I think that's a great way to do it. I probably wouldn't do it for myself though. I'll still grab a frying pan and do it the way that I've always done it. Um, but in certain situations, I think this works and I do really like the texture. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Um, go over to Chef Steps and check out their video. It's beautiful. Um, the egg dancing in the clear glass pot. Absolute artistry. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.